Now we have moved to write code for display online user details that means who is currently logged into our system. Here we have two type of user one is master user who can see how many users are logged into our system and second is simple user who cannot see details of online users but when they are logged into system then master user can see particular user has been logged into our system without refresh of web page. So we have go to index page and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar session type variable value is equal to user. Here this condition will check if this dollar session type variable value is equal to user then it will execute if block of code. So when simple user has logged into system then it will execute this block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with text like hi welcome. But suppose when master user has logged into system then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to user login status and class is equal to panel body. Now we have moved to write jQuery code and here we have also write PHP if statement and under condition we have write dollar session type variable value is equal to user. Here this condition will check if this dollar session type variable value is equal to user then it will execute if block of code. Under this block of jQuery code for simple user when he can log into system and here we have write JavaScript function update user activity. This function will update user last activity timestamp data into his login details data. Under this function we have write action variable is equal to update time. We will use value of this variable in PHP code for identify action of update of last activity of user. Then after we have write Ajax request and under this request we have write first option URL set to action.php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method option set to post method. Here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option. In this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have define action variable data send to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been to called if request successfully completed. Now we have go to action.php page and on this page first we have write include statement with database connection.php page. So on this page first we have include this database connection.page. Then after we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post action variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to update time. This condition will check if dollar post action variable value is equal to update time then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to update login details table set last activity table column with double colon last activity where login details it is equal to double colon login details it. This our simple query which update login user last activity data based on login details it. So here we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. So here we have make query for execution by using prepare statement.
Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have write array with key last activity with value date function for timestamp and in second key login details it with value get from dollar session login it variable. So here by using execute method we have execute update query which update particular user last activity column data based on login details it value get from dollar session login it variable. Now we have go to index page and here we have write set interval method and under this we have called update user activity function with 3000 millisecond. Here update user activity function will be called at every 3 second by using set interval method. So when user will log in to system and he go to index page and on this page every 3 second update user activity function will called and it will update user login details last activity table column data. Now for fetch data of login user. So here when dollar session type variable value is not equal to user then it will execute else block of code and this block of code will execute if master user will login into system. So under this block we have write one javascript function fetch user login data function. This function will fetch login user details from login details table and display under division tag with attribute type is equal to user login status. Under this function first we have write variable action is equal to fetch data. We will use this variable value at PHP code for identify action of fetch user login data. Then after we have write ajax request and under this first we have URL option set to action.php page. Here we have send request to this action.php page. In second option we have write method option set to post. So here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write action variable. So here we have send action variable data to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and this function will received data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with division tag id user login status with HTML method and under this method we have write data. This function has received online user login details data and by using this code we have display that on division tag with id user login status. Now we have go to action.php page and on this page we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch data. This condition will check if this variable value is equal to fetch data then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store details of online details in HTML table format. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select login details dot user id, user details dot user email, user details dot user image from login details inner join user details on user details dot user id is equal to login details dot user id where last activity greater than date sub function with now function interval 5 second and user details dot user type is equal to user.
This our select query in which we have combined two table login details and user details based on common table column user it and after this we have fetch data based on condition of last activity table column data less than current time less 5 second by getting data sub function in which we have minus 5 second from now function. So this way we have get user login data in which last activity table column data less than current time stamp minus 5. So it will return current online user data. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this statement we have write dollar query variable. So here we have make query for execution by using prepare statement. Now we want to execute this query. So we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. By using this method we have execute query. After this we want to fetch result from this query execution. So we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. By using this method we can fetch result from query execution and store into dollar result variable. Now we want to get number of rows from query result. So we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count function. This function will return number of rows from query result and store into dollar count variable. After this we have write dollar output variable and in this we have append HTML code like division tag and between this tag we have write dollar count variable with text like user online. This will display number user online. Then after we have defined one table with table column like number a mail and image. In this table we will display online user data. Now we have write dollar i variable is equal to zero. We will increment value of this variable one by one in loop for display value under number column. This we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row. Here by using for each loop we can fetch value of dollar result variable one by one. Under this loop we have first write dollar i variable is equal to dollar i plus 1. Here we have increment value of dollar i variable on every interval. Then after we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write open and close table data tag and between this tag we have write dollar i variable which display number 1 2 3 and so on. After this we have again write table data tag and between this tag we have write dollar row user a mail variable. This will display user a mail from user details variable. Then after we have again write table data tag and between this tag we have write image tag with attribute source is equal to images folder name slash dollar row user image variable. This will display particular user image name from user details table and display on web page. Here user image store under images folder. Lastly we want to close table tag. So we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like close table tag. So this way we have store all online user details in HTML format in dollar output variable. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request. So we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. This will send online user data to Ajax request and it will display on web page. Now we have go to index page and here we have called this fetch user login data function. So when page has been load this function will called and it will display online user data on web page. 
After this we have write set interval method and under this method we have write fetch user login data function with 3000 millisecond. By writing this code fetch user login data function will be called on every 3 second. That means on every 3 second it will display updated online user data on web page. Lastly we want to write code for logout. So here we have write anchor tag with ref attribute is equal to logout.php page with anchor text logout. Now we have go to logout.php page and on this page first we have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Then after we have write session destroy function. This function will destroy value of session variable that means it will remove all currently session data from server. After removing all session data now we want to redirect to login.php page. So we have write header function and under this we have write location with login.php page. This code will redirect page to login.php and user will log out from system. Now our code is ready to check how many users are online on browser. So we have save this code and check output in browser. Friends we have already check login page. So in one browser we have login with enter a mail as john smith at mail.com and in password field we have enter password and press enter. The page has been redirect to index page and here we have can one table with no data and display zero user online. This display online user details because john smith at mail.com is a master user so he can view this details. Now in another browser we have login by enter Don Huber at mail dot as a mail and in password field we have enter password press enter. This is simple user so he cannot view anything on web page. But in John Smith page we can see one user has been online and in details we can see who is online and here we can see Dono Huber at mail dot com has been online. After some time in one another browser we have login one more simple user and press enter after press enter we can see in John Smith at mail.com page. There is number of online user number has been increased to 2 and below we can see the details of online user with image. Now in another browser we have login with other two simple user and after this we can see at John Smith master page number of online user has been increased by two and now it display four and below we can see details of four online user details. Lastly in one browser one has been logout from system. After some time in John Smith master page we can see number of online user has been decreased to 3 and below we can see only 3 user details. That means our code is working. This type of feature is very useful to track how many user has been currently online and log into our system. It will display real type online user details on web page and for make this type of feature we have PHP data object with Ajax jQuery. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment you query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.